Australian companies say fracked gas from the Territory could help solve the East Coast energy price crisis. But some, an some analysts are accusing the companies of creating the price hike themselves by committing too much gas overseas. The gas industry wants the Northern Territory's fracking ban lifted so it can access the Beetaloo Basin 400 kilometres south of Darwin. It's arguing this and other territory reserves could supply Australia's needs for 200 years. The resource is a very high quality one and possibly unique in Australia in terms of its quality. The industry is also forecasting NT Gas could tackle the East Coast price crisis. Supply is needed to, to put downward pressure on domestic gas prices, not simply supply demand economics. But the territory is remote and piping is expensive. Producing high cost Northern Territory gas, which is very, very high cost gas, about $7.50 a gigajoule, is no way to bring down the cost of gas on the east coast of Australia. Bruce Robertson is accusing the companies of driving up prices by committing to exporting more gas than they have from their Queensland plants and of pushing for access to more gas so they don't default overseas. Australian consumers are getting gouged. There is no two ways about that. I think that shows a fundamental misunderstanding of Australia's East Coast gas market, um, what export contracts and oil-linked export contracts mean. But one of the companies thinks new gas won't go to the domestic market unless governments regulate to drive down the cost of using pipelines. And the essential policy lever I see governments have is uh, to try and advantage economically the flow of gas to the domestic consumer. And that essentially is, is it cheaper to transport it to Sydney than to toll it through a high capital plant? The Territory Government has said it won't be bullied into overturning its fracking ban. Its decision at the end of this year is more likely to be determined by local politics than market economics. Jane Barton, ABC News.